Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. Now, Kime Umana, as almost all members of parliament who are associating with William Samoe Ruto, be it elected with UDA party, ODM rebels, independent members of parliament, they are now distancing themselves from William Samoe Ruto. I've realized that now to defend William Ruto is a crime in this country. Even bloggers who are supporting William Ruto, they are even fearing to defend William Ruto. Now, uta defend him Ruto aje. So, as we speak, nimeona Senate wamesha rudi kwa assembly. Na sasa, as we speak, I want you to listen to a senator that was elected with the UDA party, Boni Halwale from Kakamega County, coming out to tell William Ruto, enough is enough. Please, you must come out and get rid of these cabinet ministers. Dissolve the cabinet, chagua wengine. Kuna mofices kama the first lady, the second lady, the third lady, Tessie Mudavadi, itolewe. So Boni Alwale is not massaging William Ruto. He's now telling him the truth as things are going south. No one is now coming out to defend William Samoe Ruto. Watch the video of Boni Alwali. Things to do. Mr. President, dissolve cabinet, reconstitute it. Mr. President, disband offices outside the Constitution, including CAS, including Prime Cabinet Secretary. It is not in the Constitution of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, including officers of first ladies, including, Mr. Speaker, advisors. If advisors are useful, then what David Lee is doing is not advice, is misadvice. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the president should quickly restructure the security organs by firing people, the IG included. And finally, but not least, all the sky teams must be grounded. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm on. Before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, please just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing. I've realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, please consider supporting me by liking the video. Thank you so much for that like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as Boni Halwale is now coming to remind William Ruto the requirements and the ultimatums that the Genesis put on their paper demanding William Ruto to do, now the SRC inaongeza chuvi kwa ile wound yenye wa Kenya washa walisha enda kwa maandamano the Genesis, they demanded the decrease of the salaries of these members of parliament. But guess what SRC said just the other day, immediately the mandamano ilisha. At sasa, President salary yaki inaenda kuongezwa. MPs salary yao inaenda kuongezwa. Cabinet minister. I want to read before um, Samson Chirarigei kukuja kupinga hiyo. Now, even Samson Chiragay is not massaging William Ruto. They are saying enough is enough. Wana wago pata kuenda kwa penye walichabuliwa because of defending William Ruto. As if that is not enough, Jalamo is coming out to say this. There are things that almost look like a setup. We are in a crisis and SRC are proposing an increment of 14K. Yani, munataka tupigwe tukufe ndo mfurai. Mimi sitaki. That is what Jalano is coming out to say. <laughs> but these individuals, when they were supporting William Ruto, walituamia nini? Wanaena maandamano. Mbona sasa wameanza kupinga? Hmm? So Samson Chiragay is also coming out that they will not accept that because the JSS, eh, they were being sacked because of just demonstrating. They want money. But on this side, MPs are being added more money. So Samsung Jiragye is rejecting this. You remember when UHC colleagues 
interns. We invited SRC here. They told us there is no money to increase for UHC doctors or GSS, but they are quick to increase money for us members of parliament to create this content and fuel the country into discontentment of members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. And SRC must be called out, Mr. Speaker. You remember when UHC colleagues, interns, we invited SRC here. They told us there is no money to increase for UHC doctors or GSS, but they are quick to increase money for us members of parliament to create this content and fuel the country into discontentment of members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. SRC was, we never requested for the increment of salaries. We have never. SRC is abusing its own power by trying to set us against the public. And I'm happy a number of colleagues have responded to this blackmail, misleading corruption by SRC, Mr. Speaker. And I, I, I also propose SRC must be disbanded. We have with SRC, they are not serving part time. They are busy trying to set and regulate salaries so that they justify their work in office. Mr. While SLRC chair is giving herself a 10 million car grant for a Prado from Toyota Kenya. She is increasing her salary. She gets two car grants within four years, Mr. Speaker. The SRC, and I want to say and tell Kenyans, I am not interested. In fact, what I'm proposing going into the future, members of parliament, we should serve in part time. No, I see that is not the case, Kenyans. Boni Anwali is coming also to come out to alert the Kenya Kwanza government led by William Ruto. But go, that going forward, they are not going to tolerate these members of parliament who are displaying publicly how they have money. They can fundraise 20 million Kenya shillings as the way Boni Anwali said last week, but Oscar Sudi never felt it well. No, Boni Anwali said that it is impossible for a member of parliament to donate 20 million Kenya shillings in a fundraising. They are, the next day is giving 5 million. The next day, 10 million. And that is why Ukiangalia Hata, the business of Oscar Sudi, Ile Timba XO Club, Imekwa Nashida, Nasikia, Ile Ingine Ilekwa Uwizi, Sasa this time around Imechomo. So Boni Anwale is reminding these members of parliament that when you were elected, sworn in in the office to represent these people, who kupele kwa pale kuja kwa ringia, that you have money. It is time that they must mature. And so when Boni Anwale said that, Boni Anwale is saying that some individuals waliona ni kama anawachukia. But also, those members of parliament walikuwa nambiwa, this is not the right thing, thing to do. Now, wamegiukia ta William Ruta wataki ata. Maneno, ya William Samoruto. Listen to whatever Boni Adoli say. You are alive. Mr. Speaker, I equally offended somebody whose name I never mentioned in Kakamega over the weekend about this issue of opulence. I just wondered, how would an MP be able to donate 20 million shillings at a Harambe? He was very offended. In another function, I saw a minister of this government carrying a white bag on the back like this and started announcing how many millions are in that bag. Said, Moja? Billy? No. Mr. Speaker, if we don't refuse these things, people like Murkomen will think that they are giving us their money. It's not their money. Those are proceeds of corruption. <laughs> this house is saying no. Because of that anger, look at what our children did. Mr. Speaker, people are angry and hate us as leadership because every weekend, helicopters, they crisscross the skies, all of them going to functions where these millions are being dished. Mr. Speaker, the fuel gaslers that we drive, I know 
if you go to this parking, Mr. Speaker, you can see the difference between the vehicle four-wheel drive driven by your senators compared to those ones driven by members of the National Assembly. Yes. In the parking of the Senate, yes. you see Prados. Yes. But in the parking of the National Assembly, you see high-end vehicles that sometimes you only see. And why? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you keenly understand these members of parliament, especially senators, and some bigger percentage of members of parliament who are supporting William Ruto, they're coming up with new stories and narratives so that they can get favor from the people on the ground. And because there's something they have always said many times, do you remember when William Ruto was having a PG meeting of his members of parliament in status? Do you remember, it is about five months ago, when these members of parliament and senators said that we are feeling the pinch on the ground, Mr. William Ruto. But William Ruto told them, there's a right time to be popular and the right time to be unpopular. So this time round, it was to be unpopular. And now this is the extent they have reached, that now Kenyans, they have realized that they are not going to tolerate them. So I want you to listen how Aaron Cherio, the senator, of Kericho County is coming out to say. Can you listen to whatever he's trying to say? For example, Mr. Speaker, to one gentleman, one of the organizers of the Occupy Parliament, a crusade, and he said, according to them, they just wanted to come and sit outside here and listen and make noise as the debate on the finance bill was ongoing. And I said, okay, fair enough. But unfortunately, in the way that they communicated, it was impossible to tell how to do that kind of an occupation. I wish, Mr. Speaker, at that point, that there had been an engagement either with your office, because you're the person who permits uh, this kind of engagements, so that we know how is it that if today there are 100,000 people who want to come and present a public petition to Parliament, we should be able to facilitate it so that they know what time they'll come, how, what they want to do, so that we set the rules and agree, and people know, and we don't provide an environment or a climate that is right for people with sinister motives, Mr. Speaker. I know for a fact that it was not the design of the young people that wanted to protest outside Parliament for Parliament to look like it, it looks this afternoon. They had no intention of banning anything. I don't think it was in their design to destroy the amount of property that has been destroyed here. I don't think it was in their design, uh, Mr. Speaker, for members to flee for their life. They wanted to come and present a petition. Therefore, we have to think and propose as a way forward of how. Now, that is whatever Aaron Cheriot is coming out to say. It means Nyumba Kimewaka Moto. And everyone is looking a way of defending himself or herself. It is not something that is is usual that these individuals has been doing and now kinawaramba vizuri pole pole netafika wakati hata they will not even address anyone in this republic of kenya and so whatever they are doing is just to please themselves justify themselves that now way forward they're going to work for the people and not for william samuruto i asked simple question here and some individual thought like i was illiterate i never knew what i was seeing when a member of parliament is elected, sworn in in the office, you are not sworn in the office to serve the interest of a president. A president himself is having his own agendas and policies. And it is your time to interrogate the policies of a president or at the government of the day. I remember Boni Halwale saying earlier on that sometimes he wonders why because even the policies who are going to destroy Kenyans, you will find someone who is aligned to the president or the government. They will not reject it. Why? Because they are serving the interest of the president. So the time is now that they are now realizing the people are furious. And it will reach time that even they will not live among their constituents. Have you seen people like the Honorable Member of Parliament of Molo Constituency, Himani Kuria, who was living among his constituents? Nyumbayaki liyaribiwa, 
Malik Aribio. Why? Because they will fear next time. They will not live among their constituents. Why? Because they are not going to serve the people. They are going to serve their own interest. So the time is now that these members of parliament are leaving William Ruto stranded in state house. No one is willing to, to even now sell the agendas of William Ruto. They are just on their own. Why? Because anyone who is going to support the policies of William Ruto is a crime. And must be told the truth. That si kawaida na kime umana. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.